We're very excited to be back in Vegas. Very excited to be back in the you know, fighting mood in the ring. You know, Loma has always wanted to have a challenge. He doesn't want to just to fight anybody. He wants to fight who's the best, who's the, who, who can bring him a challenge to the ring. So that's why uh, Nakatani, his name came up. He jumped right out. There you go. June 26, we're back in the ring. Let's get this party started! This is boxing! This is top rank! I believe his name is already there in the history of boxing. Now, he wants to be again undisputed. I am the best in this weight class. Where is my four belts? That's why I continue. So today we have uh, Agus Klimas, uh, Loma's manager, uh, coming to the office to go over his fight week schedule. You know, there, there's a lot of demands on, on Loma's time, media and otherwise. We just want to make sure that uh, expectations are, are clear uh, before Loma arrives here in Las Vegas. Oh, got some beautiful offices! Oh! oh my goodness, Loma! When is John Wick 4 coming out? <laughs> Come on! You better have a bigger fucking part in this one. You better. The, the third one, you're in there. You post some gangster shit, and then you're gone. Um, Agus and I, um, we, we joke around a lot, and there's always a, a small hint of tension, but it's all—it's you know, really all in good fun. I think we both uh, try not to take things too, too seriously, so uh, we have a good time with all this. I just want to go through some of the schedule stuff uh, for fight week. So Thursday, we get the press conference at 12, but we need to get some media done beforehand, so that way we don't have to do it all after because I know how you don't like to do that afterwards, so you won't see me until the fight. How you're, does not, that you're not bothering me. Remember, we're in front of cameras. You're not bothering me. Oh, so you're not <laughs> I wish you could capture what he would say when, when the cameras aren't here. But since this is the, the statute of limitations is now over with this, Agus, yes. two years ago, this is what Agus told me. He said, if Loma loses the fight, I blame you. <laughs> Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push this any further because I don't want to be blamed for him losing to Luke Campbell. Uh, so fortunately, he beat Luke Campbell, and uh, now I wasn't blamed for anything. But Evan, I would never ever do that to you <laughs> in front of the camera. <laughs> Loma is back, bro. And then John Wick Four is back, ready yeah, to go. I'm gonna put him in John Wick Four. Too. Be Matrix Three. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> All right. Good. Thank you, Regis and I talked. Bob wanted to discuss a bunch of things, so uh, they went to his office for a chat. Bob, how Welcome you doing? to Las Vegas. Thank you. Thank you. So, Bob, we're so happy to be back with our uh, lovely friend uh, Vasily Lomachenko. Yeah. I think we're excited. I think what happened, we all know what happened last time. It is what it is. I don't know what happened last time. We all, nobody <laughs> I knows. don't know what happened. I watched through six rounds and I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And uh, it's redemption time. I think he's more than ready. Yeah. Absolutely. He's a great fighter. One of the great fighters in history. Have you seen this picture? I, I have it in my book, my phone. It's a famous picture. But look at this young man right here. Look at this beauty right here. But Mohammed also has something special in his eyes. That was a beautiful yeah. moment. Yeah, man, sometimes life is magical. And sometimes life is very boring. But when you meet the legend, Mr. Bob Arum in his own office with all the pictures and the trophies and all that, you know that life is good with you because boxing is one of my biggest passion and this is one of the biggest boss of the boxing world. So I'm very lucky to have a relationship with him and I can call him a friend. The future is bright. The prank, baby. This is so hot, man. See you, Frank. This is even hotter than Morocco. You know, I'm from Morocco and sometimes in the summer it gets hot. But this is something else. It's like an oven. Come to South. Come to South. Pizza oven. Dragon Ball. I'm getting back to this fight. I did want to ask uh, what he thought about Vasily's last fight with um, Teofimo Lopez. If there was anything about the fight that surprised him from either from either opponent. Lopez did you ever? Well, from the beginning, well, seductively, aggressively, he went to the place. で、
自分から攻めていければ、まあ、この勝敗っていうのも変わってたんじゃないかなっていうふうに思いました。いいところはやっぱりそのその日常すべてこうボクシングのことだけを考えれる時間にできるところ悪いところは日本語が通じないですね<笑>あなたと井上選手のために私はもっと日本語勉強しますお願いします。やっぱり倒して勝ちたいですね。I joined Top Rank when we launched the、uh, ESPN boxing series in the Lake City. And I worked, there, I worked there for two or three years、uh, as a publicist. And then, then I was moved here to Las Vegas. So,、uh, let me see here. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, it's Lee. Yeah, Hall of Famer. <laughs> When you're a Hall of Famer, you're stopped everywhere. No matter where you're at, what city, what airport, Hall of Famers call each other, hey, Hall of Famer. Like I, Buddy McGirt called you that. I call him that right back. And、uh, it's a special group. Lucky me. I wrote boxing at the Philadelphia Bulletin for a number of years, and I covered three Ali fights. Ali was an incredible person. I mean, in the media room, He would do magic tricks, tell jokes, do levitation. And he was not like what you saw at the end. He was an amazing person and most amazing man I ever met. Lomachenko, well, when he was an amateur, every promoter wanted him. We were last on the list as far as you know, interviewing him. So, most highly sought fighter I've seen, you know, who every promoter wanted this fighter. So, we were doing a press conference at Beverly Hills Hotel. And Bob met with Lomachenko, Agus Klimas, and Lama's father. And Bob just said, What do you want to do?、And、so he said, I want to fight for a world championship in my first fight. Can you do that?、And、Bob goes, Yes, I can do that. And then, what do you want to do next? d o n t I want to defend my world title. Can you do that? He goes, Yes, of course. And Bob came through. I've been around a lot of fighters, and、uh, he's, a, he's a very, very special person. Has unique training abilities and、uh, just the most amazing fighter I've ever seen. We're very excited to be back in Vegas, very excited to be back in a, in a fighting mood in the ring. It was a long recovery for Loma. You know, we had the surgery right after the fight, and then you know, he went into recovery, then he stopped running, training. And, Little by little, and was very anxious on the phone every time asking when we can fight, when we can fight. And you know, Loma has always wanted to have a challenge. He doesn't want to just to fight anybody, he wants to fight who's the best, who's the, who, who can bring him a challenge to the ring. So that's why、uh, Nakatani, his name came up, he jumped right over it. There you go. June 26th, we're back in the ring.